Today we're visiting the very unique holiday resort just an hour's drive from Pretoria, Plain Cariba. Imagine waking up to the sound of birds chirping and baboons calling in the distance, surrounded by lush greenery. Whether you're seeking adventure or relaxation, Plain Cariba offers a perfect escape from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. In this video, we'll explore the stunning landscapes, their great campsite and thrilling activities that make Glen Cariba a must-visit destination. From exhilarating boat rides on the dam to peaceful walks along nature trails, there's something here for everyone. So get ready and let's embark on this journey together. Hi hey everybody, yeah, we're just here now at Steve Biko Drive. We're gonna go from here all the way north to uh, Bella Bella, just a part of uh, Pretoria West. We've got to go here over the mountain, that's also with the Mokonisberg. Hey, how's it everybody? Yeah, my name is Konrad, SA Guide. Um, yeah, I'm taking today a little ride to uh, Bella Bella. I'm going to the Atia Cafe, uh, Klein Cariba. There is a uh, holiday resort with some uh, very nice uh, warm pools. So I'm gonna go uh, take a little uh, camping over there. I'm just here now in uh, Pretoria West. I'm gonna take the old warm bath road, the R101. Uh, through from uh, Lavender Road. So, yeah, you've seen uh, Pretoria West a little bit, Steve Vico Drive. It's a lot of uh, car dealerships. And uh, yeah, this side of Pretoria, there is also the University of Pretoria Onders de Poort uh, faculty, which is mostly for uh, veterinary uh, uh, sciences. Uh, also, this side, we drove past the neighborhood of uh, Wonderboom. It's also named after the Wonderboom, uh, which is also in the Wonderboom Nature Reserve. It's named after a very big uh, tree, which is called the uh, Wonderboom. So yeah, I'm gonna go from here uh, all the way to uh, Amanskral. At Amanskral, there is also the turn off to uh, Dinuking, which is a big five game reserve. And then from there on now, uh, it's just a short drive up to uh, Bella Bella. I hope you in, uh, enjoy the ride. Here we are getting to Hamanskral. It is only about 40 kilometers north of Pretoria. Its name originates from a prominent farmer named Haman. Historically an agricultural hub, Amanskral is transitioning into a more industrialized area. Although challenges remain in providing adequate infrastructure and services to support this growth. Yeah, I'm selling. What are you selling? Peanuts? Yeah. Ah, okay. A notable cultural landmark in Amanskral is a life-size statue of Nelson Mandela, 
unveiled in 1999. This monument serves as a reminder of the struggles for democracy and equality in South Africa and aims to promote tourism in the area. The Tsuayin Crater is located near Hamans Kral. It is also known as the Pretoria Salt Pan. The crater is part of a nature reserve that spans about 1,946 hectares and is recognized for its geological significance as one of the best preserved terrestrial meteorite impact craters in the world. The name Tsuang translates to place of salt in Tswana, reflecting the area's historical use for salt extraction. The crater and its surrounding conservation area are important for both ecological and cultural heritage, making it a notable landmark in the Hamanskral region. The area just outside of Bella Bella is called Pinars Rivier. It was officially established in 1908, marking its growth as a community and its role in the surrounding agricultural landscape. The Pinars River, which flows through the area, is a tributary of the Crocodile River. It plays a vital role in the local ecosystem and water supply, impacting agriculture and settlements along its banks. We're now just outside of Barumbat, Bella Bella. Just has to slow down here a bit for the cattle to cross the street. Here in front is uh, Bella Mall. Uh, it is situated just outside of Bella Bella. It is particularly significant in the context of retail, community development and tourism in Bella Bella. It is situated on the R101 near the N1 highway. The Bella Mall provides easy access for both residents and visitors. The mall features a variety of well-known national retailers and restaurants, catering to a wide range of shopping needs. The Bella Bella area has a rich history that dates back to the early 19th century when the therapeutic benefits of the hot springs were recognized by local indigenous communities. It is situated in the Limpopo province of South Africa. Originally known as Warm Baths, Bella Bella was officially renamed in 2002. The town has evolved from a health retreat into a vibrant community. Bella Bella's economy heavily relies on tourism, driven by its hot springs and wildlife experiences. It serves as a vital hub for relaxation, adventure and wildlife conservation in South Africa. Bella Bella is situated within the Waterberg District Municipality in the Limpopo Province. This road is a very beautiful alternative route from Bella Bella up to Modimole and Falwater. Then after a very short while I arrive at Klein Kariba. Checking in at the reception went very smooth. You get a map of the resort and uh, also allocate your campsite. We are finally here. 
Det er alltid et gaffi. I've been looking so forward to coming here to Kariba. Oh, it's so nice here. You can see there's some uh, wildlife already, a bit of uh, some zebra. I'm pretty sure we're gonna see some more wildlife around here. You can see some of the activities they have already as a golf course, horse riding. Is an, uh, Obstacle course here for the fitness enthusiasts. Or in case we want to do some uh, team building. The tennis courts as well down there. It's even uh, rugby poles and a soccer goalpost. There's also some animals grazing on the rugby field. Here we get to the dam. This is where you can come and uh, fishing. We also have some very nice uh, houses here right next to the dam. You can enjoy the view from the dam. Very peaceful. There's log houses on the other side of the resort of the dam. The people there look very relaxed. Everybody, this is gonna be my campsite for tonight. This is uh, my buddy, it made it all the way here, no issues at all. Put up my tent and uh, go for a swim. After setting up my tent, I was feeling very hot and needed to cool down. The campsite is situated between the dam and the resort area, resulting in a nice and quiet atmosphere in the camp. It's a bit of a walk if you want to get to the shop and heated pools, but it is a very safe to walk and cycle up this road. See, it's really nice here at uh, Klein Kariba. Lots of beautiful rooms in between the mountains. Lots of uh, very beautiful indigenous trees. It's really nice here. I can really recommend you come and stay here if you have some time. Check it out. Glen Kariba is very family orientated and you can straight away see that safety of small children is very important here. Children has a lot of playgrounds and even the adult pools aren't very deep. They have lifeguards and child minders around all the pool areas. This water slide is often referred to as a super tube. It is free and easily accessible within the resort's facilities making it convenient for guests to enjoy during the day. The water slide is also part of a broader array of activities available at Klein Kariba, which includes swimming pools, games and other outdoor adventures. Spilikis Kamer is a games room. Their games room includes activities such as table tennis, billiards and darts. 
The games room is designed to cater to families, making it a great space for both children and adults to engage in friendly competition and recreational activities. In addition to traditional games, the facility may also feature electronic gaming options. The resort provides various adventure activities, such as zip lining, horse riding, and pedal boating. In The convenience store provides guests with essential items such as snacks, beverages, toiletries and basic groceries. This is particularly handy for those staying in self-catering accommodations. The convenience store ensures that the guests have easy access to necessary items without needing to travel far from the resort. You can buy everything here, but I am here to buy wood. So we can buy. That's the Glen Cariba shop. I'm going to buy some wood here. So now we can go to the camp and make a braai. This is the campsite in Glen Kaoriba. As you could see on the website, some of the sites have a shade net, some are without. They all have uh, electricity points and they pry, and they are all very close to the ablution facilities. You can see here, this is only about 50 meters walking from my tent. Also, washing up facilities where you can wash your dishes outside. Beautiful uh, campsites underneath all the trees. Yeah, well, I had a very nice swim, and uh, now I'm gonna just take a little walk to the dam. At the dam, you can also go and do fishing or catch and release. Uh, but I'm gonna go and just find a nice shady and cool spot where I can enjoy the view and listen to the nature. We also rent some pedal boats and pedal around the dam. There's quite a bit of wildlife that roam freely around the resort. Here we have a female Nyala. She might seem tame, but the animals are still wild and should be approached with caution. Time to make a fire.
that's good to start with, right? We'll keep feeding it until we have some proper coals and then we can start cooking on it. When the sun starts setting, people start returning to their camp to light the fires. It's almost dinner and time to start preparing. This is the perfect time for the kids to play outside, ride their bikes and enjoy the last bit of light before night falls. Let's see, I don't know how good you can see, but it's time to braai. So, uh, yeah, this is all I brought. Actually, I made uh, some potato salad for myself at home already. This has been uh, kept cold together with my other cool things that need to stay cold. And then I will also. Uh, I have here a uh, chicken skewer which I'm uh, going to put on the grill and then I also have some drumsticks that I brought with me so let's see how this is gonna go I guess I will just start with the drumstick skewer I can just stay there Yeah, they've all been uh, spiced already. So I have here some onion. There is a bit of butternut uh, pumpkin. I just wrapped in a foil yesterday at home. And this is a chicken skewer. They also just wrapped in foil. I think it's gonna cook uh, pretty good here in the foil. Now let's see. It's time for the drumsticks. Everything is too hot. Should we say it's alright? Okay, let's see how this is gonna go. The lamp sticks. So as you can see, I basically made this fire just for three drumsticks, a uh, chicken skewer, two onions, and a uh, piece of pumpkin. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. Luckily, I had some time to prepare things at home. So now we can just uh, wait for this to quit uh, cooking. Give it a couple of minutes and then I'll turn. Shouldn't be long. 10 15 minutes, maximum 20 minutes, I think. Chicken should be ready and we can eat. So yeah, this is my campsite at night. You can see uh, my tent is just here. Here's my Dakar bike. Alright, let's see how this chicken is going. Uh, do a first turning mm, yeah nice it's uh, quite a bit of uh, marinade on the outside so of course it's gonna turn all black it's a bit deceiving because uh, it looks like it's uh, burned but uh, it's only the marinade that's burned but the chicken actually inside is not cooked yet so the fire is still a little bit hot that's why the marinade is getting burnt well, that's fine. I don't mind a little bit of my burnt marinade. All right, let's have a look one last time. I think they should be almost ready. 
I turn them one more time. Been uh, keeping turning them all the time. You know they look very burnt, but it's just the marinade. The marinade on the outside has been uh, burning most of the time, so the chicken on the inside is not yet uh, properly cooked. But I think we are almost there. You can see in there is also my uh, pumpkin and onion. There's another onion hiding behind there. I'm pretty sure that they are also going to be cooked. So uh, soon, soon we're gonna have some dinner. Yeah, let's check it out. I think we're almost ready to eat. Let me see, let me just grab my cutlery. Got a couple of cups here. And I've got some cutlery, that will be enough. Chicken I'm also going to be eating with my hands. Alright, let's check it out. Here I have the chicken skewer. Okay, yeah, let's uh, check it out. How is this chicken looking? Yeah, so uh, that's my dinner. It doesn't look uh, very appetizing, but this is a uh, chicken skewer. It was cooked in the foil. Pumpkin. Chicken drumsticks. This is a... Uh, Onion, which is nice and soft. Let's take, let's take the skin off. This one as well, I can take the skin off. Yeah, so I'll just wait a little bit for them to cool down and then now uh, dinner is ready. Hope you enjoy. Say, so, yeah, swimming for the kids. It's still open at night. up here at the Grand Cariba. Had a lovely night here. It wasn't uh, too cold, a little chilly in the morning. It was actually alright, a slight wind. This morning woke up with a lot of baboons. And morning coffee. A coffee maker. Coffee for the morning. some milk and have a little bit of breakfast and now I am just uh, sitting here having a bit of coffee so this is my uh, favorite part of the day having a coffee outside cheers good morning uh, my name is Conrad as a guide uh, you know me already, I uh, do all my travels and then I put them on YouTube for you guys to uh, enjoy with me. I stayed uh, over here last night at Klein Cariba. At, uh, this is in uh, Bella Bella, just, uh, just about an uh, hour and a half drive uh, north from Pretoria. It's uh, about two hours from uh, Johannesburg. Uh, it's a very nice area. It's uh, just uh, outside of the city, so it's already a little bit of bush felt. You can uh, hear in the background so many birds. It's just so lovely to wake up with uh, so many bird sounds. Uh, so this resort is uh, really nice to come and visit uh, either alone, like I can, or you can come with your family. Uh, there is so much to do. There are uh, playgrounds for small kids, there are uh, warm swimming pools for uh, the whole family to enjoy and then the campsites are also uh, superbly clean. Uh, it's also very nice organized, there are uh, pavement on each campsite so even if it would be raining you won't be stuck in the mud. So just bring a little mat at least for your tent and then you will also sleep comfortable. Uh, each campsite has its own uh, 
barbecue, braai area as well. Uh, we have a shade net in some of the camps. Uh, I took the one without shade net because as you can see, this time of the morning, I still have shade. It doesn't bother me that much. So uh, yeah, there's uh, so much to do for the whole family. Also, you can go and play uh, uh, mini golf or putt putt as we know it in South Africa. You can go and do horse riding, you can bring your bicycle. There's uh, several different hiking routes that you can go and enjoy. Yeah, so uh, just here in the heart of the bushland, there are uh, so many different indigenous trees, uh, many more uh, birds that you can find that uh, you probably don't hear or see in the city. That's one of the reasons why I love coming here. Uh, it's not too far away from the city. I only also took about an hour and a half to two hours. I took the uh, alternative route, the old Warmbath Road, R101 and uh, that was also very much uh, reasonable to go with as well. So, uh, yeah, if you're looking for a very nice getaway for you and your family or for yourself or for your loved one, I could really recommend you to come here during the week. Over the weekends the price is uh, almost uh, three times the price, but that is understandable because it's so nice. But if you have a chance to come here during the week, the prices are very reasonable. And then uh, you can stay and still enjoy all the nature sounds and uh, the warm pools. Glen Kariba, you also have this uh, conference facilities for up to 700 delegates. So you can come here with your whole company and uh, come and stay over and enjoy their uh, conference facilities. You can see they also have many different types of rooms, uh, mountain cabins, uh, there's a youth tent for uh, big youth groups, tent houses which is uh, made out of canvas mostly, uh, then they also have rooms and uh, flats, mountain cabins and then you also have the wooden cabins by the lake. There is, uh, electric pedal bikes you can rent out as well so you can uh, ride all around the resort with your electric pedal bike it's not too much uh, pedaling to do because then you have electric uh, help as well here is one of the guides preparing the vehicle for a game drive through the reserve around the resort Also come and enjoy their spa treatments. The restaurant at Klein Kariba is known as Koswerf. It provides a diverse menu that includes buffet breakfasts, a la carte menu and takeaway meals. The restaurant also features a ladies bar that complements the dining experience at Koswerf offering guests a selection of beverages to enjoy alongside their meals. Guests can enjoy dishes such as pizzas, burgers and light meals, catering to different tastes and preferences. These are also some of the different types of houses that you can rent. You can come here with your whole family. This house will uh, be completely fitted like a normal house with all your facilities. Animals are so tame here because they know nobody is trying to hunt or eat them. Yeah, this here is their uh, mini golf and uh, also the water slide. Uh, they also have some trampoline mats upstairs there. You can see they are very nice laid out mini golf. You can come play your mini golf with your mini ones, little kids. This will be their outdoor warm swimming pool. 
It is also semi-artificially heated by uh, coal, burning coal. A warm swimming pool for the kiddies. Streams of water coming out will also be warm already. Nice shade net over so kids doesn't have to get burnt all day. They can slide and swing, and climb and have a lot of fun here. The indoor heated pool. So, just a normal cold pool here for all these flats. A little bit more private. Hey, Tassi! Rock Hyrax! No, it doesn't look anything like it, but it's the closest genetic relative to an elephant. And they really like to live on the rocks, so here on this mountain they will be Hundreds of dasis uh, living here. Hey, can't say hello. Can't say hello here. That was it. Nice camping here at Nenkariba. Uh, Very convenient is that the checkout time is only at 1 o'clock. For the campsites. I think for the rooms it's still 10 o'clock. Gives you ample time to pack up your uh, tent or your caravan. Slowly get going. It's now 11:30. Only leaving now. There are some activities for kids here. It's like a primary school that came here for the day. We'll do some uh, team building. Beautiful here in between the Waterberge. Waterberge literally means the water mountains. See such a beautiful area. Very green, even though it's the end of uh, winter. Haven't seen rain for a couple of months. Some zebra, the plains zebra. You see with the shadow stripes on the rump. Hey zebra! Yeah, that was now a plain Cariba. Okay, everybody, you see that was now Plain Cariba. Hope you enjoyed uh, my stay over here. It's a really beautiful place.
from here I'm, I'm going to go to Bella Bella. It's also actually a beautiful road to Mori Mori. Wish I could have gone today. I have to go back home to Pretoria. So just uh, about 26 kilometers and we will be in uh, Bella Bella. And then from there on uh, we'll see where we're going. So hope you enjoy the ride. Well, here we are now in Bella Bella. 150 kilometers north of Johannesburg. The name Bella Bella is a Botswana uh, word meaning boiling water or boiling boiling because of uh, natural hot springs that uh, exist in this, uh, this area. The town's name used to be Warm Baths. about 20 years ago to Bella Bella and today it's, uh, it's a lot of uh, small holdings and small farms around Bella Bella also uh, many uh, small game resorts and holiday resorts enjoying some of the hot springs from the Here we are in uh, Hamamskral. It's a very vibrant uh, neighborhood. Just about uh, 40 kilometers north of Pretoria. You can see there's quite a lot of people living here. We're back in Pretoria. It's Pretoria North. Coming in from the N101. Old Warm Baths Road coming into a Wonderboom neighborhood. I'm gonna go now a little bit through town. I really hope you enjoyed this video of uh, the review of Plain uh, Cariba. That's just a short getaway. up and uh, subscribe and then I'll see you next time